Hi guys, welcome back to RRC uh, and in this video which is I think is part 13 this, uh, this video um, we're going to start putting the panels and accessories onto the cab now that it's it's been painted I think in the last video uh, you would have seen uh, well hopefully you would have seen the um, cab being painted and um, masked up and etc and the various panels being painted I uh, have to say guys this has been one of the most challenging uh, cabs to paint because there is so many different um, colours that have to go in it I mean I didn't have to do that I could have just painted the inside but as I say I was just following the manual uh, just to, to get it as scale as I could uh, so it's not perfect it's not brilliant but there again I'm more an expert sprayer uh, and I don't, you know, for what I have with the miniature spray booth and stuff, I, I do the best I can. But I don't think it's turned out too terrible. Um, so anyway, in this video, I'm going to be starting to get some of the accessories on this cab. Um, side panels, which are these. Uh, some little chrome bits. Um, the, what else we got to go on there? Some little... Um, additions that the door handles and stuff so yeah that's what we're going to do with guys so with no further ado let's get on with it i'll try and um, let you see as much as i can but it's not the easiest to do but i'll do my best for you guys i say this cab has to be masked off in so many different ways um, it really has been a bit of a challenge on this one. Okay guys, that's the first side panel on. Change screwdrivers, guys. The tip on that long one wasn't really working very well. Okay, that's them uh, two panels on. That's what I do like about this. Where is it now? Oh no, it's on the other piece, and I'll show you in the, in another video because they've just been painted and they're, uh, they're drying at the minute so but the piece that goes on here has a nice embossed scanner on the back it looks uh, quite impressive so that's them on there so now we have these little chrome trims that glue on here like so just to have a little bit of bling to the cab hopefully they will stick on okay to me it's cement for this making sure that it does not go on the chrome on the front because it just ruins it. Not my uh, favorite parts to do guys. Let's hold that for a few seconds. So while I'm waiting for them to go off guys, we'll uh, see what else is to do. It's the handle glued in there guys. Do the other side. <clears throat> so that's the other door handle fitted. Looks nice and uh, tidy. Not like the, uh, the molded handle version. You guys, that's the door handles on the little chrome trim on both sides so the next thing we're moving on to on these panels are on as you can see um, is the mirrors to build you do this guys just be careful you, you don't get uh, that glue on the mirror effect because it will just ruin it I wish to me I could uh, do something where they just click in and you don't have to glue them. 
just let it go off a little bit. Hey guys, I'm going to start uh, putting the bits and pieces in the windscreens, the mirrors on, side windows, pieces of double sided. For this, it's more it's just like a blank that goes on the back of the cab here. Um, where if you wanted trailer lights, that's where the plug would go. You just remove this and put it in. But you just have to cut these out of the strips of double sided to me I give you. So simply just sticks in like that and blanks it off. Sorry you can't see much on this guys but uh, once I get it um, screwed up I'll show you. I put a bit of thread lock on here. Okay, well, there's the first first window in there. Screen, and then bit it on. Get the others done now. So then these side windows are double sided taped on. That's right, guys. Seems to look okay. Both side mirrors on now. Yeah, that's the front screen in all, all, the, all the windscreens in side windows mirrors on that's these little chrome pieces that go in around that window okay that's that chrome on there Okay, this is the section that sort of sits on the top piece of the cab. Um, it has lights in there. I won't be putting any lights in these top ones because I've gone with the configuration for the uh, top spotlight bar and the grill bar. So uh, there's not a, basically not enough um, LEDs for me to do that. I mean, as a, as a future venture, I may do it, but we'll see. Tightening these in, guys. I know I'm gripping the thread with with a pair of pliers to get this in, but I'm doing it sort of way down, away from the the end of where the nut goes. So these have got to go into a depth of seven mil. A couple more turns, and that should be it. 
That's it. So that's done the studs in there. And this is the part I hate is putting the little grass in there. Because if you get it on the, I know I've said this before guys, if you get that glue on that plastic, ruin it. Yeah, so that section done, then lens is in. So we'll let them go off for a bit and then carry on. Got both brackets on there, guys. Okay, there's the both lamps fitted in there. So it's continuing with the uh, cab. As you know, all the, the screens are fitted, the mirrors are fitted. Some of the trims that go on the cab were fitted. Uh, we're at a section now where we're putting together the uh, flashing hazard lamp, uh, which won't be flashing. What goes inside these is the uh, gear change lights, first, second and third. Uh, and auxiliary lights, auxiliary lights at the end. Um, I'm intending on getting a, a flashing beacon, uh, but at the moment they're a little bit too expensive, so I'm just going with, with what Tamiya provided. So, okay, let's get on with it. I've already pre fitted the lights in here. Um, don't know how I'm going to tidy these up, but we'll see how that goes. Um, for the flashing beacon, so that's gonna go on there. That goes fasten on there. So guys, um, these spotlights here, um, stock, or you, you run two banks of LEDs, uh, but I found this uh, LED cluster, I suppose you call it, which is designed to fit straight into the into the back of them, uh, which makes it so much neater, so much easier. So, but the only thing is, it's a little bit more tricky to get the lamps in place uh, in the sense that these brackets have got a hook behind the LEDs on the board, like so. So, a little bit more of a pain, but 
the results will be a lot better, I think. And tighten them up fully, just to get them in there. Okay guys, that's the uh, light bar on. Bit of a pain, but um, looks good. <clears throat> okay guys, that's the uh, hazard. Lights on there, unfortunately. It uh, won't flash like that. A bit too close there to be honest so I'll pull it back a bit okay guys that's the uh, light bar across the top or hazard warning lights bar on the rail there the spotlight bar is mounted as you can see <coughs> wiring is not the best but there's not a lot you can do with it um, so yeah, just have to live with it until I get the uh, electronic flasher when I get that. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Uh, I think we've got a lot covered. Uh, all the, the cab with the windscreens in, the mirrors on, and all the little bits and pieces. Some of the other parts of the cab uh, fitted uh, with the sunroof fitted on there. Uh, I'll give you a quick look at that guys, I think I did that, nothing too um, hard, just literally double sided taped into there, so that's that, uh, but there's a lot more to do on the cab, so it'll have to be on another video, ok guys, I, I thank you again for watching, hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one, bye for now.